it's over with. So, now that's like I said, that's just one way to do it. Now also, I prefer anymore. I don't even, I just stand beside them. Right here. Pull his nose around. Push on it. You know, we can learn a lot through these horses. Like right now, now I said my other. There he goes. Right there, he gave me a little. He gave me a little, and I gave it back to him. But right now, you know, this is a frustrating. So works so many aspects in life. I keep talking about him being responsible for his own actions, and he's fighting it. And, you know, y'all Gucci Cooey people out there thinking poor horse. Well, you know what? We do that the same way to your kids. They, You let them do things to other people and everything, and you say, oh, my poor boy, his dad mistreat him, or teachers don't like him at school, or this or that, instead of making that child be responsible for their own actions. That's what I want Kingston. He's going to have to be responsible for his own actions. If he does it right, everything's going to be good. But if he does it wrong, by George, he's going to be uncomfortable and I ain't afraid to show it. I'm not going to whitewash the stuff because, you know, there's enough people out there who's doing this stuff, who's whitewashing and trying to make themselves look good and dancing on top of horses and scoochy scooting their pretty little butts around and, you know, all bull crap. All right, now I'm just going to hold patiently, patiently. At least this time he dropped his head. You don't have it up in the air, but I'm holding his nose up, and I don't want to. i got to feel some slack in this rain. As soon as he gives it to me, I'll give it back to him. This is where the patience, this is where my patience, persistence, and purpose comes in. like one time, there's a good story while I'm sitting here waiting for him to give. I was back home visiting my daughter and her, <laughs> my grandkids. There. And um, he gave me a little bit. It wasn't much. But anyway, and uh, I babysit it and Trevor, my grandson, I love him to death. He threw a fit. So I put him in his room. Shelby, my pretty little granddaughter, she has a cute little thing. She's 14 now. But anyway, yeah, I, I think we're uh, I'm missing the heck out of them. But anyway, so I see my uh, I was babysitting. So Trevor threw a fit. I put him in his room. And Shelby said something. So I said, Granddaddy, he'll tear it. I said, I don't care. It's his room. And he'll throw things around. It's his toys. I don't care. So I'd go in. I'd listen. 
listened to him. I listened to him. And he stopped crying for a second, and I hurry up open the door and said, German, if you're ready to say you're sorry, and be quiet, you come out. And then he said no, and started throwing a fit and cry again. So I did it again, listened to him and listened to him. This goes along with being responsible for his own actions. This is the similarity of horse training kids. So I heard him shut up again. I jumped in there. I said, Trevor, if you promise to be quiet and say you're sorry, you come out. He said, no. And he threw some more things around. I just looked at him. I don't care. It's your stuff. You want to break your stuff, go right ahead. So uh, Shelby said something like, Grand doesn't even go work. And I think I said something. So yeah, I will. So I did that oh, about four times, I think. And all of a sudden, the door opened, and the little four-year-old come bouncing out of the room and said, Granddad, I'm sorry. And he said, I'll behave. So I shelved with my granddaughter. She said, Granddad, I don't believe it. But it's all, all making him being responsible for his own actions. And that's the same way I'm going to do this for us. Right there, that was real nice. He came to my hand. So am I going to be a hard head and fight with him every, you know, hang in there? No, because I get his point, my point across. If he gives to me, I'm going to leave him alone. And that way, that time he started coming to my hand, so, you know, I got something I can build on now. I'm going to pick, do it again. Say, well, he's bent. Well, no, he's, yeah, he's bent, but there's still resistance there. But I, like I say, right now on this bit, getting him truly liked his bit is very important. What I do, if I get in that mode, let my soft heart and say, oh, poor Kingston, your nose is up in the air and you got that cold steel in your mouth, he's going to win. And he's going to hurt somebody because when they're going to need to grab hold of his mouth and him coming to bed, he's going to have that nose up in there. Now see that time and time get it clicks. And y'all see enough of my horses, especially the ones I start, how they come to my hands. And if you notice, every one of the horses that I start, they're right there with me. So that I'm not mistreating them. I'm giving them leadership. I'm being fair to them. I make them be responsible for his own actions. Does it right? All right, yeah, I appreciate it. I'm gonna let him know I appreciate it. And I'm gonna give it back to him and hold it and build it. <laughs> 